NHS or National Honor Society is a group for academic achievers that gives them opportunities to help out the community. And no school is more of a perfect example of what NHS should be than Garfield Heights High School under the leadership of Joni Wanderstock. For GHHS, NHS's claim to fame is none other than the homecoming dance. For the classes of 2018 and 19, there was no better way to prepare for the tedious, exhausting, frustrating, yet fun process than having a social cookout. I need to have a look. So what's so special about like this gathering in particular? Well, first of all, we've never had one like this before, so this is really neat. And I really appreciate the fact that they invited me to come crash their party. Um, but we've never done this, never ever. This is like the day after graduation. It's still like 24 hours after school's over, and this is amazing. The previous NHS stuff, we really didn't have any bonding time for other kids. For this year, we want to get everybody together, we want everybody to be friends, so every time we come to the workshop, it's fun. So we want to like put the bond group together. I mean, like right now, it's a lot more closer than ever it was. However, it was time to get down to business. Our first process was essentially Figuring out a theme, it was like all these bunched up themes all together, but you know, we wanted to go old school because you know, we're basically a hundred years from the 1920s. So we decided on that and then the officers and I basically in like a few days after we discussed the theme. We started figuring out some themes, we started measuring the entire school, figured out what to do. It was just so many tasks that had to get done at once. And then summer rolls by, and we're like, oh, here we go. So the first bit of summer was basically getting the essentials down. So starting to cut out all the templates, rolling out all the papers for all the decorations, and basically assigning jobs to everyone who needed jobs so that we can get this done as quickly as possible. Hello, what's up? My name. <laughs> we're going to Pakistan. We're going to every Pakistan's location in Cleveland just to find something we need. Or just little things like that. It was a lot. I think pers personally, I feel like I was planning a wedding. It was. <laughs> so what are we doing over here? Uh, we're um, wrapping we're the wrapping box. box. I'm a black rapper. Uh, <laughs> well, we are making speakers. Yeah, we're trying. Well, we're trying. Oh god, we make so many things. Uh, the most stressful thing about playing at homecoming had to be decorations, posters, wine bottle, glass, glitter stuff, all this crazy 1920s stuff. It's all good fun. And of course, not everything went well. I mean, we had multiple mishaps along the way. I don't know, there were so many. Um, the paint spilling all over the driveway. Well, that wasn't really fun, but memorable, definitely. We basically had this 80 foot long mural that went along the largest wall of the cafeteria. This big city landscape skyline thing. Enjoy doing the whole mural. That took from day one to the end of workshops. We were working on that mural. It's kind of really hard to put something really, really big together and getting a whole bunch of people to actually work on it at the same time and have it come out similar to, similarly to each other. That's hard. That's pretty hard. You get to know how you interact with like the other members and how you do it. So it, essentially, it's like you basically delegate what you need to do. You get to learn like what it takes to be in NHS, and that's the cool part. How long did it take us to finish this? Uh, it took. I, I think it was like two hours. Ten out of ten was when we. Did the giant poster board of the, and we had people lay down. 
we traced them, and then afterward we painted it all. I thought that was really cool just because I like coloring. So. We drove all the way to Madison, Ohio, like a little over an hour away to go get a mannequin. I'm about to give her a nice little wig, put some new lashes on her. Girl, I'm about to get you right. It was up at the other night. That was really quite um, I don't remember what our mannequin's name was. I'll just call her Laquan for now. We're just going to call it Wonderstuck. No one else. No, her name's Laquan. Laquan? But she was, mm, I was quaking <laughs> and tremulous. Many times at Myron's house, we did just a bunch of fun things like uh, we made a human table out of four people. Uh, just doing anything really over the summer was really fun, no matter if it was working or just goofing off. But like looking back on them, it was like really fun to like see all my friends like not just during school but in the summer and working on some kind of project together. Like I look back on that now, I'm like wow that was really fun and when I was going to them I was like oh man it's hot outside. And then school goes in. Pretty much all we have to do is, we made a lot of progress over the summer, I saw you guys. Pretty much all we have to do left is murals and name tags. We're like, oh, we were planning to like get it done by the summer, but sure we had some problems, so we kind of finished the day of, which, you know, it, the, sometimes plans don't happen like that. So basically, that happens, more work, more murals, more and more murals. <laughs> Nineteen twenties themed props such as a large yellow car and a phonograph were also constructed to fit the atmosphere of the dance. But soon the day had come. Favorite day, despite all the work, the homecoming setup morning, homecoming setup was my favorite day. I think the most important thing is that when you do have a task ahead of you. Um, working with other people makes it not only more efficient, but just more enjoyable. I'm setting up for homecoming. I was there from 7 in the morning to 4 p.m. just painting and setting up all these tables and balloons and all of these, um, the name tags that go on the cafeteria wall. We thought it would be cool if we had this back alley where we had people's like wanted posters on the wall, so we got like filters of people and made them look like sketches and put them on the wall. It was pretty cool. Seeing the really, really big mural up on the wall after homecoming, the one with the bridge, because that was terrible. <laughs> and seeing it done and finally just up on the wall, that was good. I was finally happy to be done. <laughs> and I'm glad like all of our creations were seen up and looking as beautiful as ever on the wall. We worked on homecoming, like the, on the day of, we were still fixing things. The week before, we were, had like a ton of things we needed to finish, like that were even half completed. It's like we need to get that done, stuff done faster because it pressures us for homecoming. There's been about a dozen kids that have above and beyond. Fabulous, off the charts, amazing. Um, did really more than they, I ever anticipated that they would. That night, NHS had created something magical.
but you know, we made it. There we go. Homecoming. <laughs>
her words. Um, she was always encouraging, always stood behind us. Even when I, my aunt passed a couple of months ago, she was there, and I just thank her so much for that. I love her. She does it all, I feel like. I don't know how she does it. She's so caring. She like she cares about a lot of people. She just is very real, and she like cares about so many people. She is so sweet. We literally can be on the phone for hours, text at 1 in the morning, anything. She's always there for you whenever you need her, and just... She's just so sweet, so genuine. And believe me, when you do a lot of work in these workshops, she will notice and you will be rewarded for that. For new people coming to NHS, uh, just be a part of it. Like, try not to skip out. I mean, but uh, the workshops, stuff like that, just get involved. It's actually more fun than you think. So the thing I most regret in the entire time I've been in NHS was my junior year where I barely did anything. I was really wrong and I learned that my senior year and I wish I would have learned that earlier. So I would stress that you actually come to things your junior year too. Even I at first was skeptical and skipped my first year of doing it. I don't know if I would have gotten into the colleges that I did without an NHS. It's, it's not as bad as you're probably making it out to be. Don't not go because you think it's going to be boring because it's actually a lot of fun and there's a lot of great people, you do a lot of cool stuff. Because you really don't want to leave people hanging. Like I understand how if when people didn't show up I was stuck doing more work than I probably needed to. Knowing there's people that use the NHS title as a name title and saying they're going to do certain things with the group and not her, like following through. That's just me out. <laughs> if you don't want to show up to the things, you shouldn't have signed up. <laughs> like, but just the little moments with the people I was planning it with, little jokes, stupid things that we did, meeting new people. I'm not even going to elaborate further on that because uh, the word love connection will probably have been said at least like eight times by now. I think it was just a learning experience, especially for my plans for my plans for the future, and what I plan and what I see and foresee myself as in the future. I think this is just experience overall was just amazing. I literally could not change it for the world. It's not something you should take lightly, like procrastinating on your English essays. It's a lot of work, a lot of work, and it's amazing that you have to do everything in your power to just get it over with, you know. And all this responsibility comes with, you know great rewards so if you do a lot of work get something out of it this is a group that can really help propel you to do wonderful things in your future and I think if you're hesitant you don't know unless you try and you can kind of pick and choose what it is that you want to do but obviously the more you do the more you're gonna get out of it